Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and today's lecture is about the prescriptions and transposition and the concern is the crux of this video is that how would I know that I should transpose this prescription and I should not transpose this one or this prescription, right? We have many types of astigmatism like we have simple myopic and simple hyperopic astigmatism, we have compound myopic and compound hyperopic astigmatism and we have mixed astigmatism as well right so how would i know that if i face any of the prescription with the same sign with the same uh, power or with different signs and with different powers how would i know that i either uh, i should transpose this prescription or not right so let's start the lecture remember we will learn that uh, we will learn about those prescription which we have to transpose right for example let's start the first prescription like for example if we have we have plus two spherical right and we have minus two cylinder at 90 degree i hope you can see it so we have plus two spherical we have minus two cylinder and we have axis which are 90 degree right so let's analyze this prescription very carefully that we have power of the sphere and cylinder are the same you can see this is two sphere and this is two cylinder so the power of the sphere and the cylinder are the same right number one power is the same sphero cylindrical power is the same but you can see the signs are different our spherical has plus sign and cylindrical has minus sign so remember whenever you face any prescription in which the power of the spherical and cylinder are the same you can see the power of the sphere and the cylinder is the same but with opposite sign you can see this is opposite sign this is the spherical has plus sign and the cylindrical has the minus sign so i repeat whenever you face any prescription like you you can say the prescription has same sapphire and same cylinder but with opposite sign you have to transpose that prescription to judge to analyze to examine the type of prescription the type of astigmatism right so apparently you can see it looks like a mixed astigmatism because we have plus spherical and minus cylinder so apparently it looks like the mixed astigmatism right but this is not actually the mixed astigmatism so if this is not a mixed astigmatism then how would i know that what type of astigmatism it is right so for that we have to transpose this prescription right and we will transpose and you know very well the type uh, the different uh, you can say steps of the transposition the transposition has three different steps number one is we have to add cylinder into spherical power so we will add this sphere into this cylinder right and when we will add this sphere of cylindrical power you you can see this is plus and this is minus so add algebraically the answer will be zero right and now the cylinder the second step of the transposition is we have to change the sign of the cylinder and we will change the sign of the cylinder it would be plus two and we have to rotate the axis the axis are 90 degree and we will rotate it 90 apart if the axis are 90 it will go 180 so you can see this is not a mixed astigmatism right this is simple astigmatism right so apparently it was looking like that this is mixed astigmatism but we when we transposed it it is now a simple astigmatism simple hyperopic astigmatism right so the crux of this example is if you find any prescription in which the power of the sphere and cylinder is the same but with the opposite sign remember you have you will and you have to transpose that prescription and now let's learn about the 
another example in which we have to transpose the prescription right to analyze the type of astigmatism right and what is that prescription for example if i have plus 4 spherical with minus 2 cylinder for example and axis of the same 90 degree right this is cylinder and this is these are axis of the cylinder and now apparently you can see it looks like again the mixed astigmatism we have one value in plus and we have other value in minus it is apparently looks like the mixed astigmatism but remember this is not a mixed astigmatism how remember one thing that if your spherical is greater than the cylinder with opposite sign two things if the spherical correction is greater than the cylinder as you can see the plus 4 is greater than the 2 right so condition number 1 is fulfilled right and now what is the condition number 2 condition number 2 is the sign of the sphere and cylinder should be opposite and you can see the second condition is fulfilled as well how the spherical has plus sign and the cylinder has minus sign so again i will repeat if you find any prescription if you face any prescription in which the spherical correction is greater than the cylindrical correction with opposite signs of the both if you find such kind of such sort of prescription you have to you will transpose that prescription to analyze to examine right that type of astigmatism right so let's again transpose it so first step of the transposition is we have to add cylinder into spherical so this is plus this is minus plus minus minus right so if we subtract if we subtract minus 2 from plus 4 the answer will be plus 2 right and the sign will be plus because the greater value carries the plus sign right and the next step of the transposition is we have to change the sign of the cylinder right so here is minus and we will change it with the plus axis are 90 it will go 180 so apparently first of when we look at this prescription at first it was looking like the mixed astigmatism right with one plus and with other minus right but when we transposed it you can see this is now a compound astigmatism a compound hyperopic astigmatism right so remember if you find two types of prescription this is very important question regarding viva examination and theoretical examination point of view right so if you find that the power of the sphere and the cylinder are the same number one the example number one i'm repeating the example number one in which if if you find any prescription in which the spherical and the cylindrical correction the power of the sphere and the power of the cylinder are the same with the opposite sign spherical carries plus cylindrical carries minus right if you find such kinds of prescription then you have to transpose it right and the next example is if you find that the spherical correction in the prescription the spherical correction is greater than the cylindrical correction but with the opposite signs in these two kinds of prescription in these two sort of prescription you have to transpose it if you want to answer it properly and appropriately right so hope this is clear in the next video we will discuss many new things about the optometry see you